Hi, this is the <clears throat> Briantron's point for four points on a circle. So basically, it's a lot like, it, it is the dual of Pascal's line for four points. And what we're going to do is we are going to first start by drawing the tangent line at each of these four points. Remember, the tangent is the line that intersects the point uh, and doesn't enter the circle and just touches the point. There's only one line that that's true for, for any point on a circle. So we're going to do that for all four points on the circle. Then we're going to pick any two of those points and so th say that those are special points that are actually two other points that came together at that single point. And we're going to identify those and those special points will will have uh, basically be the, the uh, missing respect to the missing sides of the circle of the hexagon. So it's a four-sided hexagon, which I know seems odd, but we've been talking about this, so you're probably getting used to it. So I'm going to start by drawing the tangent line at all four points. There they are. Okay, and we can look at where these tangents intersect. Then I'm going to pick any two of these. It doesn't matter which ones. That's kind of the neat thing. It doesn't matter which two we're going to pick. So I'll pick this one and this one, but feel free to pick this one and that one, or that one and that one. As long as they're any two and you identify that they're, which ones they are, you can work with it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to number the vertices of our hexagon. Okay, so on the next slide here, I number this one as one, that one as two, and the special one here, that's a vertex, even though it's part of a straight line. It's it was once a straight, it was once two bent lines that became straight, but the vertex still remains there. So that's my vertex three. Vertex four is fine, that's a vertex. Vertex five is a vertex. And vertex six represents the other special one. Then if I connect one and four, two and five, three and six, they will all intersect at a point. And if they don't, try to find out why they don't and try to fix it. Okay, so that is Briantron's point for the. Uh, four-pointed hexagon, if you like. This is indeed a hexagon. You could say uh, the missing sides are, th this one here looks like a single line. It's actually two lines. One goes from here to here, the other one goes from here to here, and this one goes from here to here, and the other one goes from here to here. It's just that they came together. So they look like one, but they're really two. That's why it's still a hexagon, so to speak. But it still obeys Briantron's rule here. Okay, hope this works for you.